the constant function method is a simple two-dimensional time-depth relationship. It may be based on a theoretical compaction rate, an integrated sonic log, a check shot survey, or on seismic stacking velocities. Once we define the function, we use it for all the time depth conversions in the entire study area. So for every time value, there is an equivalent depth value that is the same throughout the study area. One commonly used constant function is depth z is equal to a constant, usually the initial velocity at the surface, multiplied by the one-way seismic travel time, added to another constant, multiplied by the one-way travel time squared. Let's apply this method to our seismic section. At shock point 1689, the top of our potential pay zone is at 1.050 seconds, while the base is at 1.575 seconds. Let's calculate the depths to the top and base of this zone. The depth to the top of the zone would be a constant, say, 5,800 times 0 0.525 for one-way travel time, plus a second constant, say 1,000, again times 0 0.525 squared, which gives us a depth of 3,321 feet to the top of the zone. Similarly, we can calculate the depth to the base of the zone to be 5,191 feet. Earlier, we said that the measured well depths to the shallow and deep horizons were 3,350 and 5,220 feet, respectively. Using the constant function method, we calculated the depths to be 3,321 and 5,191 feet, which are close but not exact. Although the constant function method may be the simplest and fastest of all time depth conversion techniques, it is usually the most inaccurate. The method is essentially a relabeling of the contours on a map. Time contours are not converted to depth, nor do the contours change shape. And this method cannot handle velocity gradients and anomalies.